avalanche debris from this winter. A stunning mud flow is caught on camera in Southern California. All this debris swept through Sheep Canyon thanks to downpours from Tropical Storm Hillary. Hillary is the first tropical storm to hit Southern California in more than eight decades. Yeah, the storm now moving north as we get a look at what Hillary left behind. Mills Hayes joining us live from Thousand Palms, California. Mills, what's it like out there right now? Hey, Brian and Hannah. Well, it is hot. Let me tell you that. And it's almost as if the rain didn't come down yesterday because of how dry it feels outside. But you can definitely tell how much the rain fell by looking behind me. This is Interstate 1, or excuse me, Interstate 10 here in California. There's some slow moving traffic. It looks like it has gone down. It was about three lanes open here. They went down to about one lane because the flooding looks to have gotten worse. You can see right to the right of it looks like a lake. That's all flood water and mud is gathered there. We have seen a couple different trucks stall out while trying to, to drive through here. And this takes you to Los Angeles. But take a look at the other side of the interstate. You won't see any cars at all because it's completely shut down. The only vehicles we've seen there is just Department of Transportation vehicles trying to clean up that mess. And they're really working hard to try to get this ready for people to get back on the road. We've spoken to a lot of people who have had to miss work because they just can't can't get there because of all the road conditions are so bad and you got to keep in mind here in Coachella Valley they don't get rain so yesterday they got about a year a half a year's worth of rain all in one day and that rain's got to go somewhere so it goes on these roads making it very difficult for vehicles to get through especially vehicles that are lower to the ground and if you don't have four-wheel drive it's almost impossible to get through I spoke with one woman who said she got a hotel last night because she couldn't even get to her home due to all the flooding many people are still trapped today unable to even leave their front porches I spoke with some people who are unhoused and living in a tent they lost everything the couple told me that they didn't even know a hurricane was coming through because they don't pay attention to the news so they had no time to prepare cars have had to get pulled out of the mud by trucks i spoke with one guy who got stuck and he said AAA told him it would take about six hours before they could get to him i had to work today so i was trying to figure out a way to get to thousand palms where my warehouse is but all the surrounding streets are completely like flooded inundated with nothing but water like you can see right here the Coachella Valley is ill prepared for any kind of flooding because we're in the desert but they're really not prepared for this type of emergency we saw a tree get completely uprooted and fall on top of a home in Palm Desert. I spoke with neighbors who tell me it all happened so sudden. A single mom and her son actually live in the home where the tree hit. Neighbors tell us it's just not fair when bad things happen to good people. Her son, who's young, I just jumped into his arms. He was so scared and he was afraid for his mom. And but they were uninjured and uh, but it fell on his bedroom. And I spoke with one of the police officers that's down there trying to deal with that traffic jam, all caused by this interstate being closed. He tells me that yesterday they were responding to accidents all day long. People here aren't used to driving in this kind of weather, so they were responding uh, to more than 20 calls, he said, of accidents. In uh, Thousand Palms, Mills Hayes, Fox 13 News.